Hey, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, busy fam, to wherever you are, whenever you are. I am Izzy, welcome to the vlog. If this is your first time, thank you for watching. Do me a kindness and like and subscribe. Um, I am officially on the road again. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. On the road again. That's right. I am headed back. I went and visited my daughter in Dallas and got to see both of my kiddos. And then I went back down to Austin to visit my daughter, uh, my other daughter, uh, the one that was in Austin or in Dallas for the birthday. And then we went back to Austin. And then I drove back down to Austin to get some one on one time with her. So, yeah, it was awesome. It was great. It was all that and a bag of chips with some fresh dip. All that jazz. Uh, it was just good. It was good to have some dad dog time with both my kids. I loved it. It was awesome. I'm appreciative. Um, and now I'm headed on this long, long, long drive back to Colorado Springs. Now, the reason why I say long, long, long drive is not just because it's about 11 to 12 hour drive. It turns into a longer drive because guess what I got? I got Dutch back here. Yeah, that's right. Little Dutch, who's a big three months old, he gets car sick and he's a baby. So that means I have to stop every other rest stop to get him to go drink water, try to get him to eat food, uh, walk him around, pee and poop, yada, yada, yada. So it, it takes a little longer. So to give you an example, um, I was slated to get to Dallas when I first arrived a couple of days ago at 1027. So around about 1030, right? That got pushed to the right all the way to, wait for it, three in the morning. Yeah, put that in your pipe and smoke it for a second. Three in the morning. It was supposed to be about a 12, maybe 11 hour drive. Three in the morning, it, yeah. <laughs> not fun for me, not fun at all, but it's fine. I love my dog, I love my pup, and uh, so yeah, it's time to get on the road. So I'll show you what it looks like because I'm driving and I'm vlogging, but I'm doing it safely because I'm not looking at you guys. You know, it kind of looks like it, sort of, not really, because I got the glasses on. Yeah, uh, here's what it kind of looks like. On the road again. Ba -da -ba 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 -da. On the road again. Yeah, B-roll, not really. All right, guys, let us uh, let me get back to driving, all right? Listen to my audio book. Uh, I'll check in with you guys at the next rest stop. Hey, hey, busy fam. All right, so I just got bleh. people, guys, girls, gals, whatever, people. I officially have stopped at our first rest stop. I did stop at like two or three different gas stations, and there's a story behind that. Matter of fact, here's where I am, the middle of the open road. Right across the highway is another rest stop, and right here is my boy. He keeps rubbing himself on the grass. I feel like he's just trying to clean himself off. Uh, but yeah, so I, I'm a bit. Come on, Dutch. I'm a bit of a world traveler, just just a little bit. And more than that, I am a bit of a traveler of the good old U.S. of A. That's right. I have driven across this United States of America zero times. <laughs> no, really, uh, I have driven, I've taken long drives, I'll, I'll put it that way. Yeah, I've done plenty of long drives. And uh, the, more than that, I've done a lot more long drives with dogs, AKA Duke. Uh, and, sorry, here's the stick. I have been to plenty of, uh, I guess gas stations where hey I need to stop get gas I need to go use the bathroom it's 100 degrees outside in Texas or Colorado no I am not leaving my dog in the car plain and simple at all and for the most part I have experienced a lot of folks that yeah yeah go ahead bring your dog in go to the bathroom whatever it's cool all right that's that's awesome that's great that's wonderful but come on Dutch hold on a second he's tangled up all right, good boy, come on. And I've also experienced folks that say, no, no, we, we can't allow your dog here. Okay, that's cool. Duke was old. 
enough to where I was like, right, I might leave him in the car with the windows down or whatever. He's a big boy. Dutch is all of three months old. Tell me why I got gas station people telling me, is that a, uh, is that a, a service dog or something? No, it's not. He's three months old and it's 100 degrees outside. I just don't want to leave him out there. I just got to use the restroom real quick. Would that be okay? No, sorry. We can't have your dog in here. Okay, thank you. So you need to leave. Excuse me? What the? Seriously? Rude ass sons of you know what? Like, shut up. Shut your face. No one cares about what you say anymore. You're a jerk. You're an asshole. I don't care if you're a man or a woman. I. You know what? I get it. I went in, I get it. They're doing their job. Great, wonderful, good for you. On the other end, I don't give a good God bless if you're doing your job. I don't care. I just got done telling you it's 100 degrees outside. He's three months old, he's a baby. And you want me to leave him in the car? Well, I go take a piss or a shit? No. Oops, no, I'm not doing it. No, I'll tell you in a different language. No, I'll tell you in a different language. Nine. That's German for no. I'm not doing that. I don't like it. Plain and simple. He's a baby. I'm not gonna. No. Hold on. Look where I'm at. It is gorgeous out here. All right, that was random. But no, I'm not leaving my dog in the damn car. I don't think so. Homie, don't. Homie, don't play that. Psh. I'm just no. I'm not cool with that, man. At all. So it just gets on my nerve. It honestly, it does get on my my freaking nerve. Hold on a second. Uh, give my arm a break. There it is. Yeah, it gets a lot bloody nose. And again, I understand they're doing a job, their job. They can't let the dog in because he's not a service dog. Blah, 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 blah. I don't care. I don't. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. What kind of forever? Hold that nice up. No, really. I, I don't care. I seriously don't care um he's a puppy he's a baby he's my baby he's my boy i'm not leaving him in the damn car no and then i had people no check hold on two seconds all right i'm back i had to switch hands um so okay tell me why tell me why i had today earlier today this boy keeps walking around things he should be walking around getting his leash all tangled up tell me why i had someone suggest hey maybe you could just leave your windows down with him in the car no, I would not leave him in the car. Well, maybe you could just, uh, you know, uh, maybe we'll, you know, how about you leave the windows down and then we'll watch him. No, I would not leave him in the car with the windows down while you're watching. Well, well then maybe, you know, you could bring him and we'll just watch him, like take him out and one of us will go outside and watch him. No, I don't know you. You don't know me. I don't trust you with my dog. He's valuable. He's invaluable. He's irreplaceable. All of that. All the good things. No. Negative. That's a negative, Ghost Rider. Uh uh. Night. No. Niet. Nope. Not gonna happen. Take your suggestion and shove it up your arse. I didn't really say that, but I said no, no thank you, and I leave. Now, the person that was rude to me, the one that I just mentioned earlier, I, I did something childish and. Um, yeah, I don't care. I'm not going to vlog it, but I'll talk about it. I really don't care. I took Dutch to the side of the gas station where no one was watching, and I let him take a piss right there in the shit, and, um, and then I took the piss. Yeah, I did that. I'm saying it out loud. I whipped my, my wang out, put my thang out, zip flip, let it rip. Put it simple. I took a piss on the side of the gas station. There was no cameras. I'm pretty sure people saw me because there was cars whipping by and I thought I heard a, a honk at one point no don't be rude to me especially when I got my little with me no and, and here's the thing I wasn't being rude I was it was all it's always yes sir no ma'am thank you that's how moms raised me then Uncle Sam kind of uh, you know embedded that in me whatever I'm you know may I I was nice about it you know I was respectful this person that I told you about earlier was very disrespectful. So, and I didn't like it. So I pissed on the side of the building 
I let Dutch take a piss and a shit back there. And then I just left. I didn't even get gas there. I went, actually, I went like maybe a mile up to the next gas station, got gas from them, and hey, can I use your bathroom? Just to see if they'll let me do it. They said, yeah, yeah. You want to bring your dog with you? Yes, please. Okay, cool. I went in there, took another piss. That's right. Because, you know, I drink a lot of uh, liquids when I'm driving. So, <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. I just, I don't appreciate people being rude or jerks. Here's the boy. Sugar boy, Dutch. Yeah, I just, so lesson learned. If you're a jerk, someone's going to piss on the side of your building. Either literally or metaphorically. Or figuratively. Hell, even mathematically. Either way, something's going to happen. Don't be rude to random people. That's the lesson. Um, yeah, I'm going to get back to walking Dutch. <laughs> driving right now but I wanted you guys to see something that I've always wanted to get on film or on camera and obviously I might not take a picture because I'm driving but I can do this these giant wind turbine things I think they're pretty freaking amazing b-roll they go as long as I can see and then you have this stationary uh, train just sitting there. See, I'll do this so you guys can really see it. I like this kind of stuff. I think I'm going to consider this the B roll, even with me talking in the background. Bim toss. Photo puppy, mostly for him. He's so cute. Uh, basically, because he needed to stop and then he stretched my legs. I am a, I'm in what they call Dale Hart, Texas. So I've got about <clears throat> four, four and a half more hours to go. So yeah, I'm a little tired. Driving hard to get back. Uh, I should be back by uh, one o'clock. I know I'm spinning all over the place. He's walking everywhere. I should be back by uh, <clears throat> one, I would think. Um, but every time I stop, I get pushed to the right a little bit because of this boy right here. Stopping. Well, hell no, both of us. He stopped to do his thing, then I stopped to do my thing. Yeah. So, actually, I think I'll be back by maybe 1, 1.30, I'm thinking. I'm pushing pretty hard right now. <clears throat> Check this out. And the cool thing is, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can. It's a train. So it's kind of, there's a guy, see if I can zoom in, just sitting there. Waiting for the train to move. And the train is the front of the train right there. Or maybe the front of the train is way the hell down there. I can't really tell. But you can see, you can hear the train. Matter of fact, let's do some, uh, I would take some pictures and do some B-roll right now, but not really much of B-roll to do here. God bless. The train, the train. Kind of like that little dude from uh, that one show, that old show. That plane, that plane. Like, I keep hearing... 
like air brakes. It sounds like air brakes, but I don't hear. I don't see it moving. So I don't know if it's gonna move or not. It sounds like it's gonna move. By the way, I have um acid build up. Like it's like uh, oh, it's moving. So this is the back, uh, over there, somewhere down there is the front, and now it is moving. I'll hold still so you can see it move. Isn't that cool? That train is moving. Say bye bye train. Bye bye train. Hasta luego. Arrivederci. Ciao. Chevere. Deuces. And now those mother suckers over there can actually get past that because I'm pretty sure they've been waiting forever, ever, forever, ever, ever, ever. I'm going to get back to uh, my little Dutch here. He needs to do his thing, right? I need to walk and stretch my legs. Woo! Mm -hmm. Busy film. All right, guys. I'm officially back at the pad. Yay. It is... 1 10 in the morning so i got back just slightly before 1 30. good i was slightly actually come back at uh 1 30 but i took 20 minutes off the time because you know consistent driving no stopping anyway um most of everything is out the car i got dutch i got his stuff i'm gonna take a piss i'm gonna take dutch for a piss because he just drank a ton of water right now so he's going to need to take a piss, and then I am headed to bed. I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. More importantly, take care of yourselves. God, I got that wrong, but I really don't care. I'm out of here. Out of here.